Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Warped Forest, a Japanese comedy from 2011 that was directed by Shunichiro Miki, the man who previously directed Funky Forest, The First Contact. I'm not sure how often I've mentioned this on this channel, but I have been aggressively seeking out this movie for about 11 years now. The original trailer was really weird, and it piqued my interest, but its lack of availability gradually made it one of my biggest holy grail movies that were simply impossible to find over the years. I never thought I would ever get to see it, ever. And then, unbelievably, it recently got a Blu-ray release, so it was kind of a big deal for me in terms of movie experiences. Now, I've watched and rewatched the Blu-ray multiple times over the past few weeks, but if I properly separate the personal hype I've built up over the years, is The Warped Forest entertaining in its own right? And it's finally time to find out. So here's a plot synopsis from the recent Third Window Films Blu-ray release. To explain the plot would be to defeat its spirit of imaginative misdirection. But it begins in black and white with three businessmen discussing events and drinking sake. We rapidly shift focus not only to color, but to an alternate dimension where the trees grow out of women and bear yonic fruit. Money is stored in belly buttons in the form of chestnuts. Giants work alongside regular sized people and guns fire out of genital shaped nozzles. Above this world floats an inverted pyramid, kind of like a monolith, circled by a self-replenishing orb. Unique characters find themselves in warped dimensions way past our imagination. So the first point that I would like to make regarding the Warped Forest is that it is deceptively laid back. With a premise this absurd, you might expect something that's high energy and really wacky, but this Warped Forest operates in bizarre ways that the characters take in stride, almost as if it was a normal experience. So, for example, you know, the highlight visual from the original trailer was a girl who charges like a seemingly powerful gun, only to have the front open to show a flaccid wiener inside. And how does this girl react to this insane event? Well, she lightly nods her head in approval because this is exactly the weapon that she was looking for. So this is kind of like the perfect illustration for the film overall. Events are bizarre from the viewer's perspective, not the characters. Now, this world operates without really a lot of detailed explanation in verbal form. Most of the interworkings are communicated visually. So you kind of have to infer how things work from imagery and character interaction. But it's very creative and engaging, relying on an ensemble cast with storylines that kind of bounce back and forth and intersect at certain points. This is not a movie where the characters act randomly, though. It actually does make sense, for the most part, and you figure out some of their motivations for their odd actions during the second half of the film. But if you're still hazy about some things after watching the movie, the director commentary on the Blu-ray is pretty great. You know, most director commentaries refuse to explain meanings in a movie, but this one is a little bit different. You know, there's a bunch of information regarding the interpretation of the content and the meaning of specific scenes in the film and why the characters do what they do, as well as lots of little details. So, after watching the commentary, you gain a greater appreciation over the director's vision for the story. Now, the film essentially takes place in rural and forest areas, which showcases some very nice natural locations. It's mostly lacking in any crazy CGI shots, which gives its presentation uh, a consistency with the natural locations. And with that said, there are some good special effects involving human giants who interact with normal-sized humans. I really enjoyed those scenes in particular. And uh, interior locations are pretty nice as well. There's a little bakery, a weapon shop, etc. So this, this little world that they created is, I don't know, it has a certain natural feel to it, even though it's crazy. Now, given the laid-back vibe, the humor is consistent because it's rather tempered 
despite the ridiculous world that's being explored here. The comedy is kind of eccentric and smile-worthy. I did find myself giggling at uh, uh, because there's stuff in this movie that I have never seen before in a movie, ever. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but I was very much infused with the or amused with the infusion of some playful, sensual content into things that are typically not associated with sex. <laughs> so look out for like the fruits that grow on special plants, etc. The Warped Forest definitely has like an odd sense of humor that may not land with some viewers, but its reliance on creativity succeeds regardless. And in terms of the cast, I was very happy and somewhat surprised that Fumi Nakaido and Rinko Kikuchi have significant roles, because it's been years since I watched the trailer, and uh, I kind of avoided it after that, uh, after it was announced for uh, a Blu-ray release, because I wanted to go into it kind of fresh again, um, absent uh, the influence of the trailer. And uh, so I was pretty stoked when I realized that both of them were in this film. And they definitely have screen presence, and that always helps. So overall, I'm very happy with The Warped Forest. It's, is it one of like the best films I've ever seen in my life? Probably not. But it's certainly different. And I was thoroughly entertained. I think the, the wait was worth it. Let's put it that way. And I was happy I was finally able to check it out. And it actually delivered a satisfying experience. Now, it's currently available on Blu-ray from Error 4444. That's the American label in the United States. And Third Window Films in the UK. Now, I think um, Error 4444 had a delay by a month. So that will be coming out in the next like month or so, I think. But uh, if you can't wait, hit up the Third Window Films release. So if you want something unique, check this one out. And as always, I will see you next time.